Welcome back. This is the last episode of our epic Northern England adventure. If you've just found us, this is part of a series and you might want to go back and watch it from the beginning. Join us for the final few days of our trip where we will visit the rolling hillsides of the Yorkshire Dales, spend some time exploring York, and discover ruins. Lots and lots of ruins. <laughs> We're Catherine and Edward. We met 13 years ago when we were both on Round the World Adventures. Since then, I moved from New York to join Edward in London, and we've been traveling as much as possible ever since. A few years ago, we started filming our adventures and thought it would be fun to share them with you. They are a bit rough around the edges and not everything goes quite to plan. However, every minute is fun. After only two nights in Keswick, we headed back out on the road and towards Yorkshire. Traffic jams in England. It's rough. Do you like driving in Yorkshire? It's all right. Driving further into Yorkshire, we eventually stopped at Middleham to check out the castle. This was the childhood home of Richard III, you know, the one found in a parking lot, and remained a royal property until the 17th century when it was left to fall into ruin. Many of the stones from the castle were used to build the village around it. Let's not waste another minute. Wanna wave or say hello? Hello. What's this? Hello. Who the chances I fall? What's these crazy birds? Pizza oven. Next morning, we made the short drive to York, a town that Edward had never been to before. Our first stop was Clifford's Tower. The original castle on this spot was built by William the Conqueror in 1069. The tower you see today was built in 1272 and offers an amazing view over York. So, <laughs> how's this thing? House Clifford's Tower. It's alright. 
what I was neglected to say was there is the York Minster in the back. Now you're on camera. Hello. Don't think I'll film walking down this. What do you think of New York Minster? It's alright. Horrible cup. Horrible trash cans. That night for dinner, we went to Rustique, where I had my standard escargot and Edward tried frog legs for the first time. We both had duck and creme brulee. It was a really excellent meal. It is 7 o'clock in the morning and I thought I'd have a walk around York without being so crowded and it's really paid off but I look like crap um so roll the montage of a empty York to head the four hours home, but not quite time to stop sightseeing, so we stopped off at the ruins of Coinsborough Castle. This medieval fortification was home to Hamlin Plantagenet, known as the illegitimate and brother to King Henry II. It remained in his family into the 14th century. Over the next few centuries, the structure fell into decay. Sir Walter Scott used the location for Ivanhoe in 1814, which is when the castle became a tourist attraction. What do you think of this castle? A lot. <laughs> Are you eating? As you can see here, running up the right hand side, the original lightning protection from the 14th century. You stole my love of Brad Chavez! Castle, apparently. Ye old castle toilet. This is why we can't ever get anywhere. You two are cute. You share a room with a goat. No, that's not a goat, that's a sheep. After a quick stop at a farmer's market that had a few animals to admire, we were home. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. This trip would have looked very different if it weren't for the continuing COVID restrictions. I'm sure we would have spent more time in museums and stately homes and just inside buildings in general. Let us know in the comments what we should do on our next restriction-free visit up north. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We have loads more adventures coming up. So leave me, let me join you. I just want to pet a lamb. <laughs> You're not helping. Concentrate. <laughs>